Welcome to the Root Forms new Dividend Portfolio Tracker. First thing you're going to need to do to set this up is make a copy. To make a copy, you go to the description in this video and you click the link. That takes you to a page like this. Click the blue button for make a copy. Give it five to nine seconds. Google is a small indie company. They take some time to execute code. You know, bandwidth is expensive, so we've got to be patient. Here you've got a link to our video. You're already on the video, so you can skip that. You need to enter your positions at the blue cells below. These are the blue cells. If you already have your positions in another one of our sheet, you could copy and paste in. That works just fine. Please use a dash or a dot PR for preferred shares. If your broker uses something different, you can go ahead and ignore what they use and instead use either of these formats. We haven't designed it to work with every possible format because that takes a lot of extra time and a lot of extra code. After you have all your positions in, you're going to click the big green button. This is what the entire spreadsheet is built around. This runs our code, so it's going to get your prices flowing and it's going to get the income flowing. Could we have prices without this? Sure. But what does Google do when you have a whole bunch of prices coming in and you want all of them active at once? It will proceed to just give you errors. So that's terrible. We got an error this time. This happens occasionally the first time that you try to run it. If you see that, you just hit dismiss, click the button again. That's all you have to do. We got lucky that it happened this time so I could show people how to deal with that. Really easy. Dismiss, and you click the button again. So, over here, you're going to click OK to give it permission. You're going to see your account. You won't see my account because you logged into your account. Click your account. On this page, it tells you Google hasn't verified this app. Google makes things sound scary. Click the Advanced button, then click Go to Epic Dividend Project Unsafe. I know, it sounds unsafe. Really scary, right? If only you knew what Google was doing with your browsing history. Okay, you need to click this box. This is how we select all. Don't click the word Select All. Click the box. See all these blue boxes? Wonderful. That means you're good. Click the Continue button. Now it's going to run. Market price per share is going to fill in. Then you're going to see your annual income and your total dividends earned. Over here, these are values that only cover one share. These ones over here are going to be values for the entire position. So, this is multiplied by the number of shares that you entered. It will be as accurate as the number of shares you entered. If you typo the number of shares, you will get a different number. However, one of the nice things is you can proceed to update it. You'll see a bunch of data over here gets changed immediately when I change the share count. That's really nice. Now, you can also proceed to look at your portfolio values over here. If you scroll right, you'll have more values. When a cell is light blue like this, you can edit that cell. If the cell is not light blue, do not edit it. For instance, if you try to edit one of these cells, you'll end up with this message. If you see this message, hit cancel. There is no reason to edit the other cells. It will not make things better. It never makes things better. That's like trying to change the code in any other program and expecting it to suddenly be better. It won't happen. Now, maybe you'll see this box get repositioned at some point. So, what happens if you've managed to drag it down here? Well, you hit the cancel, but it didn't reposition that. So, we're going to click the button again. When this finishes running, it's going to reposition it. That's really nice. You'll also see that it says three days and zero hours left. Anytime that that starts to get low, all you got to do is hit the big green button and it's going to reset that. You'll start fresh with a new three days. There we go. Everything's working nicely. So, we've also got the README tab. One thing I want to draw your attention to is that there's a link here that you can use to get your spreadsheet. After you've made it, this is where you find your spreadsheet. It's a great idea to bookmark your spreadsheet. If you didn't bookmark your spreadsheet, then you should at least have this page bookmarked because it's going to show you all of your spreadsheets. Look, we opened it up. There we go. That's the one that we had copied from. You won't have that one. You will have one that looks just like this. It will be your copy, though. Okay, closing that. We are done with this video. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up. It's going to help people discover our channel. We'd like people to be able to use the tool. If we didn't want people to use the tool, we wouldn't have made the tool, clearly, because making tools is not as great as using the tools. Enjoy. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Thank you.